Hello, um, welcome to this video. It's about explaining the phenotypes of Ashkenazi Jews. So first, why are they so light? Are they not native to Israel? And then you can see some light uh, people who are actually not Jews. All of these people are uh, Palestinian, but uh, you can see they're pretty light. So autosomal DNA of Ashkenazi, right? I took the Ashkenazi Jews from Russia just to be, you know, more extreme because people always say that the Ashkenazi Jews are uh, Hazars or they have European ancestry. So I took Ashkenazi Jews from Russia uh, just to show that that's not the case. Um, the closest to them out of non-Ashkenazi Jews populations are Sicilians, Maltese, Sicilians, like uh, they're closest to East Med populations, not anything remotely Russian or Polish or Finnish or anything that you would associate with such phenotypes as this. So, okay, Ashkenazi Jews historical mixture. The Ashkenazi Jewish ethnos formed with the Jewish men uh, marrying Italian women. From there, they spread all over Italy and never interbred with other populations. Hence why Ashkenazim are so tightly clustered across all Europe. For example, Ashkenazim from France have a distance of 1.83 to Ashkenazim from Poland. Any distance below 3 is considered super close and like pretty much ancestral. So now that we've established that Ashkenazi Jews are a mixture of Italians and Israelites, uh, we need to ask ourselves the question, who did they get their blue eyes and blonde hair from? Were they the Italians that gave them these features? Or the ancient Israelites whose coloring we do not know? The Italians, we do know. Italians are pretty dark people. So comparing the pigmentation alleles in Ashkenazis versus Italians. Uh, the data I got for, for the Tuscans is from SNPedia. For Middle Easterners, it's from a human genome div something, diversity. Oh yeah, there it is. A study and Ashkenazim is from Gnomad. This is the study that I found for Ashkenazi DNA. And this is the allele, HERC2's main predictive allele for eye color and hair color. Uh, this may be this is, this is the S&P that 23andMe uses to identify people's eye color. So we see that the Tuscans have GG genotype at very low frequency. Middle Easterners have the light color phenotype at very low frequency. And then you have the Ashkenazim, who have it at a frequency of 32.8%. Uh, a big difference. So Ashkenazim turn out to be much lighter than both Italians and Middle Easterners, who they descend from. Uh, did they evolve to be this light due to some kind of bottleneck and social pressure? I don't know, and I don't think so. But it's also possible that the Middle Eastern population they descend from had these light features, unlike modern Minas represented in the HGDP study. So comparing the alleles, pigmentation alleles in Italians versus Ashkenazim, this is the second uh, pigmentation SNP within herc uh, region. Uh, you can see the Tuscans have... Once again, once again, Ashkenazim are lighter than both Italians and Minas. That's what I'm trying to prove here by showing these stats. Uh, comparing pigmentation alleles in Ash Italians versus Ashkenazim in Tirp 1. Uh, this is once again a region implicated in eye color, hair color, not just in Europeans, but also in Melanesians and other people. But not this, not this specific SNP. The SNP that's implicated in Melanesian hair color is different. But you can see that the Tuscans and the Ashkenazim are kind of that the Ashkenazi are kind of in between uh, the Italians and the Middle Easterners. So this might suggest that the Middle Eastern population Jews descend from had the same allele frequencies in Tirp 1 as the rest of Near Easterners, but much higher frequencies of the derived HERC2, which, we, uh, sh which I showed you previously, these ones. This was the HERC2. Uh, so afterwards, we go to SLC 24A4. Here, once again, we see that Ashkenazim are looking like a mixture of Minas and Toscans. Uh, Toscans, I don't fucking know, Italians. So uh, so what can we? What conclusions can we make from this? Uh, we can make the conclusion that the Ashkenazim are a mixture of something that's, uh, that's similar to Mina and uh, Italian. However, the Middle Eastern part of their DNA had much higher frequency of derived HERC2, and especially this one, which is... Uh, BH2, which I will I will get into that later um, in this video. But the Middle Eastern part of the Ashkenazi DNA must have had much higher frequency of the light alleles within this uh, SNP, within this gene, um, gene, right? They must have been pretty light-eyed, the Middle Eastern ancestors of Ashkenazim. So here we go further. This is where I'm getting at. 
where are these light Israelites with derived HERC2 today? And here I introduced the study, a 2012 study entitled A Global View of the OCA2 and HERC2 Region. And by the way, OCA2 is also, it's right there, it's right next to HERC2. I think it comes right before it. And OCA2 is um, also implicated in eye color and hair color and such features, uh, also skin color. And this um, article offers a lot of insight. Further in this video, we will explore the results of Samaritans and Drusia, encoded Sam and Drew, and how they contribute to Europeans. So this is the shocking data that I show. It might be difficult to see because it's I had to like zoom in to really find this, but uh, you can see Sam. This is the Samaritans, and right next to them are Drew, Drusia, and the Sam. The Samaritans have much higher frequencies of these light light features than the Drusia. Actually, that's a big difference. And here I also marked the Tuscans, which it might be difficult to see, but it is T O S or T U S. Once again, I can't see, but uh, when you compare them, you see that the Samaritans actually have higher uh, frequencies of BEH3 and BEH2, which are the main blue eye haplotypes uh, that include, include, let's scroll up, include this SNP. So, it, and, and this is also the SNP that uh, 23andMe uses to identify eye color, uh, which is BEH2. And you can see that uh, about 50% of Samaritans and about 40% of Italians have uh, this derived BEH2. And BEH3, the Samaritans, which is also within the OCA2 region and HERC2 region, the Samaritans have a much higher frequency of that, actually comparable to Northern Europeans. Whereas Northern Europeans would be further up, like Finn, Finn, Russian. It's right here. So the conclusion, who do Jews get their light features from? These light Israelites have not gone anywhere. They're still there. You can see this is a study of 2012 Samaritans. So they're still there uh, living in the Middle East. The Italians, on the other hand, are pretty dark. And I'm justified in making the assumption that the dark Jews got their coloring from the European side and not the Middle Eastern side. And from the Middle Eastern side, they got the light features. So uh, if you like the video, subscribe.